Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee North here with another video. And with this video, I'm going to try to turn it into three. Um, yeah. So today, it's late at night, that's why I got my bonnet on. Uh, it's almost two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So, I've had a nap. So I'm woke. So, I decided to get up and put this pork roast in the crock pot. This is going to be about the crock pot this time. I'm going to let it do the work. So, I have this large pork roast. Oh, it's a big one. And heavy. Well, I'm in the process of cleaning my freeze out. I had some stuff in my daughter's freeze and she wanted me to clean my stuff out of there too. So I'm going to make that. That's going to be two meals. And I'm going to cook these ham hocks. Smoke ham hocks. That's going to be a meal. So, um, we're expecting bad weather. And, um, you know, it may and may not come. Who knows? But these things, I got to get cooked. I can't afford for the power to be off. And if I get them cooked, it's something we can eat off. Pray our power didn't go off. But over here, the transformer is right in my backyard. Yeah, it's been known to, you know, blow a few times. Because there's a wooded area behind my house and a tree branch or something will fall on it and yeah or a squirrel will get in so that being said let me get these on it's time for me to go back to my sanctuary yeah hold on okay we're going to start with the pork roast first you see how large it is it takes up one of these whole half pans. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my knife and poke holes in it. That's so the seasonings will get down in there. And I'm going to use some buffalo trace. This right here has a whiskey flavor seasoning in it. Very good. Very good. First, I'm going to put my vinegar on it. Yeah, vinegar. Pour it all over it. Yeah. Now I'm going to put my hickory trace on. And I am going to flip this and get the other side as well. And y'all know I season my stuff heavily. Because I want flavor to be all through it and in it. And yeah. I don't like nothing bland. Okay, of course my purple top, <clears throat> Sylvia. She always gonna be on the same. And this right here is a pork rub, pork and rib rub. Very good. And I'm also put this down in a bag. This right here is um, smoky salt and cracked pepper. Yeah, very good. Okay. A little smoked paprika. Go 
garlic powder. Crushed red peppers. All this going in a bag, juice and all. Liquid smoke, I'm gonna inject. Hold on. Okay, got the top off. And here's my injector. Just like injecting them turkey. Okay, I'm gonna flip it. The vinegar is already on this side, so I'm not going to redo the vinegar. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to inject from this side as well. Okay, I'm going to repeat my seasoning. The buffalo. Smoky paprika. The smoky salt. This is smoky salt with black pepper. So that's why you didn't see me put any black pepper on it. And the pork rub. And some red pepper flakes. And a little garlic powder. And all this is kind of massaged in. 
It's going to be closed up in a bag, so all the flavors will be in there. And I'm going to also pull the juice from here. And I'm put very little liquid because it's going to make its own liquid. Hold on. Okay. As you can see, I have it. Hold on. Let me adjust this camera. Hold on. Okay. You can see I got it in the crock pot. And this, this I thought this was the largest crock pot. But I should have got the other one. I'm just going to do it because it's going to shrink down when, once it gets to cooking. I'm going to take the juices from it. Where I put the seasoning on. Pour that on. And I'm going to add just a little water. Just enough to get that season out of the bottom of that. And I'm going to put it on high. For six hours and let it go. Hold on, let me get a top. <clears throat> let me get to the other one. Hold on. Okay, now we're going to work on our beans. So, I got my crock pot for that. I'm going to throw in two cups of beans. I'm going to put some onion in here. Put a half onion in here. You ain't got to cut it no certain way. Just chop it up and put it in there. Okay. Then, these are my ham hocks. I got three of them. Set them in there. And these are the smoked ones. Put that in there. Then I'm going to put some the purple top. Crushed red pepper. <clears throat> Excuse me. Garlic powder. Onion powder. I wouldn't turn them around because it'll look backwards anyway, and I'm t just telling you what I'm putting in. And black pepper. Some salt. Normally I would put a bay leaf in here, but I don't have any. And I'm going to put some thyme in here. I'm going to cover these and um, let them cook till morning. Hour. It's after two now. So we'll come back a little later when all this is done and show you what I'm going to do to them. Yeah, three meals. You'll see. Hold on. Be back in the morning or later on. It's already morning. Hold on. Hey, everybody. I'm back. It's another day. Yeah. The beans and the ham hocks.
There's the ham hock. One of them. I put three in there. And here's the shoulder. Yeah. So, this is going to be three meals. Three separate videos. Today, it's going to be about the um, ham hock and beans. Ham hock and beans. And some cornbread. Let's get the cornbread ready. Okay. So now we're going to make our cornbread. I got a bowl here. And you know I'm not going to measure anything. I'm making a little one. I'm putting it in that baby skillet my mom gave me. So it's just going to be a small one. And I'm using self-rising flour. I mean, self-rising meal. That's probably about two cups, maybe. Cup and a half, somewhere in there. And I'm going to put in here some butter. This is about a tablespoon of butter. Using some whole milk. And put one egg in here. And I'll show you that baby skillet over there. It was my mom. It's a very old skillet. It's been in the family a while. And my mom gave it to me. <clears throat> now this is going to be a sweet cornbread. I'm going to put in a little sugar, just a little bit. Because I'm going to put some Cairo in it. Corn syrup. And I'm not going to put in probably about a couple of teaspoons of it. And my one egg. Like I said, this is self-rising. You don't need no uh, baking powder or anything in it. And I'm going to shake a little cinnamon in here because I want to. Just a little. Probably about a teaspoon. I told you it was going to be sweet. It's not going to be overly sweet. Because that was probably about maybe... Um, couple of teaspoons of uh, sugar and about a couple of teaspoons of uh, corn syrup. Let me take it to the stove. Hold on. Okay. Waiting on my skillet to get hot here. And this is this little baby skillet that my mom gave me. Yeah, that's it. This is an old skillet. And I'm letting my oil get... I got some oil in here, vegetable oil in here. And I got preheated my oven. This is going in the oven. You always want to... You don't want to pour it in a cold skillet. Let your skillet get warm. The oil in it get warm.
I'm going to do it all out. I don't want it too much oil in because I don't want it to come up and over. Now I'm going to pull my batter in. I'm going to put this in the oven. Hold on. Okay. I'm just waiting on my bread. It's about to come out. Yeah. Then I'm going to plate up these beans and ham hock. Yeah. And in my beans, I did put a, a little sugar in it. Because I put sugar in my beans. You don't have to do that to yours, but I do that to mine. I got it from my mama. And um, that's why I like it. I mean, we don't make them syrup sweet or nothing like that, but she just put a little pinch in there. Something she said it offsets the salt or something. <gasps> oh, excuse me. But whatever it is, I'm going to stick to it. I like it. Yeah. So it's been a busy day. I went to my daughter's school today, and yeah. So, I'm getting, I'm getting better. Um, I'm on time. Yeah, so. Um, the wind was so strong today, man. I thought we were going to have to leave school. Um, because they're calling for some bad weather. And, man, it, it was, that wind, oh my God. You would have thought another tornado was coming. It was blowing, so. So, tonight, we're supposed to still have some strong winds. Then, tonight and um, come Monday we're supposed to have some accumulation it's a holiday there's no school and I'm going to be in the house yeah um because I don't like that cold weather mm -mm. no I was looking at um this show called, um, hold on. That's my cornbread. Yeah. Let me plate. Hold on. Okay. Let me make me a little coleslaw. Yeah. Just a little. Don't nobody like it but me. Okay, <clears throat> so, got some coleslaw mix. And I'm only going to make a handful of this. So, I'm going to add some... Onion and green pepper. Yeah. I'm going to cut in just strips, you know. It'll blend them in with the uh, coleslaw. And some green pepper. 
I like the color and the taste. And my coat well. You fix yours the way you want to fix it. Okay, cold well gonna kill them damn little. Okay. Put it off in my coleslaw, man. Okay, I'm gonna add a little salt. Cherry seeds. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Black pepper. A little sugar. Cap full of vinegar. And probably about a tablespoon of Miracle Whip salad dressing. I don't like don't like mayo. And I don't like my <clears throat> coleslaw we are wet. I like it just covered enough, you know? And that's the way it looks. I'm going to taste it. Cause I'm the only one gonna eat this. Perfect. Let me play. Okay. Finished plate. You see that ham hock? The pinto beans. Coleslaw. Sweet cornbread. And what's going to top it off? Some chow chow on the beans. Yeah. Chow chow and the beans. Yeah. Whew. I'm drinking water. Ice water. Yeah. I'm trying. Let me speak to the Lord about this. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Probably should have got a bib for this. Coleslaw is delicious. You know, I always offer first bite or the second. Somewhere along it, but I always offer. Mm. I'm going to get these things up with a spoon. With that chow chow on it, I don't know what it's gonna be. Mm. Oh, beans are so good. Mm. Sometimes you just want some beans. Mm. I don't soak my beans. If you put them in that crock pot, they're going to soak in there for a while before they start cooking. Mm-hmm. That's mm -hmm. yes, a And this ham hock here. Mm. The meat on it. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Now it's a funny thing. I'll eat a ham hop, a ham hop, but not a pig foot. Mm -mm. They don't look the same. That chow chow is delicious. Do y'all break your cornbread up in your beans? I do. Cornbread can stand alone, but I like it in the beans. I have to use a spoon for the beans. I ain't got time for them to be dropping. Mm. With that cornbread, oh my goodness. Cornbread with the bean. Mm. We get that, um, that juice down there with it. Mm. Mm-hmm. And coats all the top. These coats all sets these bit. They work with these beans, I'm telling you. Mm. And this ham hock is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. And this man right here will take you back. Mm. <clears throat> I 
Back in the day, a ham hock was cheap. Mm. Probably could have got three of these for probably a couple dollars. Three of these cost me seven dollars and something. That's that end off the hanger. Mm. Has a lot of meat on it. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, with a spoon and a fork, they both dance. Mm. I need the spoon to get my beans up on. Keep from having them all over my clothes. Mm. And the coleslaw. Mm. Mm. Cornbread bag too. Mm. Mm. My mom told me when they were a kid, if you didn't have nothing else, you had some beans. And the meat that they cooked the beans with, that was your meat. Beans was one of those kind of things that will stretch. Mm -hmm. They could get their hand on some beans if they couldn't get their hand on it, nothing else. And a part of this, you're going to be full when you go to bed. And my mom said the leftovers, you took it to school for your lunch. That wasn't an embarrassing thing. Everybody was eating this kind of thing. Or my uncle said that leftover biscuits and some molasses would be your lunch. You took that in a little pail, a little tin pail, and you would sit it on the little um, wood stove in the school. That's how you heated it up. Mm. Yes, well. I told you it's going to be three videos. The Ham Hock and Beans was the first one. And the pork roast. You see. Mm. Ooh. All that meat. Nothing but ham. Mm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm. And some chow chow in your beans. Mm. Yeah. Hold on.
I'm full already. Mm-hmm. Ooh. And the cornbread. Delicious. It's not overly sweet. It's got that nice little, mm, just a little hint of that cinnamon. Oh my goodness. Mm hmm Yeah. This ham hock is something else too. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yes, this was a good meal. Ooh, this water. Really good too. Mm, mm, mm. I still got a lot on my plate. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I had something that was in my tooth, and I wasn't about to pick my teeth on this camera. Mm -mm. I just had to get it out. Went and got a toothpick. Yeah, Whew. that was a good meal. And the water was good too. Since I'm drinking more water, drinking more water, look like it's got a better flavor to it now. Yeah. Um, I've been watching this show called um, Miss Nettie and Charles. Um, I like it. Um, and, um, she, they have gotten a lot of backlash. About the show. Now, and why? Um, I heard Sophie T said something about um, her um, blood sugar was good and she had lost some pounds. And that was good. And then she went on to have to explain because, you know, there are going to be those who got a little backlash or something to say. Why? I heard Reese Richardson say something about um, somebody came on G's thing and comment something about why you can't get her hair fixed or something. Why? Why? 
Why? That's the question. And here we is in the new year. And the question is, ain't y'all tired? Ain't you tired of that? Um, you know, you ain't got to be a, a Christian. Or, or a Bible beater or anything like that. Just to be kind. Be a human. And somebody say, oh, Tennessee North always going to the Bible. And, no, I ain't no Bible beater. And, yeah. Mm -mm. I might not go to church every Sunday. But I do go. Um, and but it don't take nothing, just to be kind. See, I think in twenty twenty four, we need to let our Our behavior as a human line up with our actions. We need to let this stuff make sense. Um, it don't cost nothing to be kind, and as people, humans. Why we can't get along? Why we always got to do something negative and, 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 why you just can't, why you just can't be, be nice, be, act like, act like human. Because, see, it don't take nothing to be kind, but you waste a lot of energy being nasty. For what reason? I like, let it make sense to me. Um, I think in 24, we need to let our... We call ourselves um, people of God um, or just saying you're a nice person. But if you are that nice person or, or that person of God or why you can't let your actions line up with that? You know, whatever you do. And you call yourself, oh, I'm a good person. I'm a good person too. But if you're such a good person, why are you tearing people down? Why are you so negative and <clears throat> can't let people have a good day? Now this Miss Nettie and Charles They just trying to have a YouTube channel. Not bother nobody. And if you like me, you like watching them, and you turn on to them. You tune in. If you don't want to see them, don't turn them on. But all that name calling and and why?
What you gain from it? What do you gain from tearing other people down? Miss Sophie T been on here a while. And I take my head off to her. I think she's something special. Nicest person I have ever not met personally, but just seen her on TV, on the YouTube. I don't know how anybody can say anything negative about her. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, Miss Sophie T. To not have met her personally, but just to know her on YouTube, like I've been knowing her a long time. Miss Risa Richardson and G. Like family. And I just met him from YouTube. That Tiana, I can only be me. Yeah. I just met him through YouTube and I feel close to him. Now this YouTube here, it's, it's enough room for everybody. Whatever you into. But for someone to come and put such negative comments and These are all nice people. They're sharing their lives. With you guys. And like me, I enjoy watching. And when they're live, I like to interact with them. And I appreciate them letting me come on here and, uh, you know, not rub shoulders with them, but just stand in their presence. I think as humans, Christians, Whatever you call yourself or want to be, I think we ought to act like it. In 2024, um, let our walk line up with our actions. It's got to be a time. When this mess comes to an end with that. Somebody let it make sense to him. Because it's not making no sense to me. And this Miss Nettie and, and Charles. They're just YouTubers. Come on here to tell their story. Um, they're very entertaining. Yeah. And why the ones who don't seem to 
care for these shows or, or these YouTube, why come on and put any kind of comment out? You ain't got nothing good to say. Just don't say nothing. Mm -mm. Just don't say nothing. Now, I tell you, I got thick skin. You can't tell me nothing about me that I don't already know. Your head nappy. You right. This all natural. This all me. You gray. Yeah, you right about that. I'm hoping the whole thing turned gray. Mm -hmm. You fat. You right about that. Ooh, I could use some, lose some weight, but... Okay, throw some more at me. Okay. So... When you do all that, what did you get out of it? Did you get any points for it? Or did you, um, you get paid for it? What? And the ones who do these kind of things, you call yourself a good person. So if you're a good person, let it line up with your... Let it line up. Let it make sense. Ask yourself, what is, what's my purpose? And if it don't line up with you being a good person and your actions, if they don't line up, maybe you want to check that. And say, mm-mm. This ain't, this ain't what I want to be. Now, I bet if you got to know Miss Nettie and Charles, Miss Sophie T, Risa Richardson, G, Tiana, even myself, if you got to know us, you might find out we're some really cool people. Yeah. You might want to be friends with us. Now, I ain't nobody special. But these people right here, these, these people and a whole lot more that I can name that I've been watching. Yeah. Miss Peggy. Never met them, but I just feel in my heart that these are some really cool people. Love to meet. And the ones who are doing this, I bet you some cool people too. You just got to let it line up with your actions and check yourself. I'm looking forward to watching Miss Nettie and Charles. And, um... I'm going to continue to watch Miss Soulful T. Miss Risa. And G. Tiana. These are some of my favorites. Miss Peggy. Gone with the Winleys. I watch all that. So what I'm just saying is. And we're human beings and nice people and good people. Let our actions line up with it. Let's stop this in 2024. It ain't worth it. Ain't nothing on regular TV. Well, YouTube is real interesting. And every day somebody new comes on. Tennessee Nikki, I like her too. I watch her too. Mm -hmm. Maybe we might meet here in Tennessee somewhere. I watch all of them.
Yeah. And I've met a lot of nice subscribers by comments. I met a couple of them in person. Yeah. Let's let this thing make sense. Stop all that. Bashing and, and name calling and... It ain't worth it. Because mm -mm. that same energy, man, you could have put it to the use on something else. Yeah. So I'm going to get off of here. And I got a couple more videos coming up for the pork roast. Yeah. I tell you, it's going to make three videos out of this. This is one. And the other two are coming up. So if you like anything about this video, give me a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments. Tell someone about Old Tennessee North. Yeah. Hit that notification button up in the corner. Till the next time. That way you know when I'm coming back. Let's try to work on ourselves. Not just you. I need to work on me too. Yeah. Yeah, let this stuff make sense. Let's be human. Bye now.